Hey, what up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, delete the fault codes using the Elm327 Bluetooth adapter. That's how it looks. As you can see the light indicator is showing us up that we're connected to the car. Uh, so what we gotta do right now, of course we got the Bluetooth enabled. Um, and what I'm gonna do right now is uh, just launch the, the ignition and now I'm gonna try to uh, search for the device on my phone yeah let's see the scanning there should be something available over here Yeah, as you can see, we got OBD2. Mm, all right, uh, so I'll try one, two, three, four. Maybe it is that one. Okay, so we're paired. So right now, I'm going to use the Torque Pro application. As you can see, it's over here. So that's what I'm going to use. Well, we don't need the GPS. Uh, we'll see the fault codes. Spreading the fault codes. Got the progress in the percentage. Okay, so uh, we've got system to lean bank 1 p0171 and secondary en injection system incorrect flow detected so you've got bo both of these codes uh, I don't know if that actually gonna well I'm um, yeah yes you are you are able to delete it and I'm just gonna show it to you later on but I'm just wanna I just wanna save it One okay, so uh, yeah, it's saved, and right now I'm gonna choose deleting the ECU fault code. So I'm just gonna launch the car. As you can see, the check engine icon is still on. So right now I'm gonna choose the deletion. Well, it says that. Well, you should do it only if the uh, the problem was fixed, and you know yada yada yada. So yeah, just I'm just gonna press OK, but I wanna show you uh, over here how it looks. So I just pressed OK. As you can see, the the rotation per minutes are a little bit different right now, but the check engine is gone. The history is gone too. So yeah, that's how you delete the fault codes in your car via the this little thing, which is the Elm327 Bluetooth OBD2 interface. So have a nice day and keep in touch.